Hello everyone, I'm Argama Witch, and today I'm going to show you how to use Mitane. You can get Mitane off of the Steam store. Uh, this is going to be kind of like a scuffed little tutorial on quickly how to use it. Um, so if your menu comes up and you can't read any of this, let's say it happens to be in Japanese or Chinese, you can come over to this side and you'll see the gear. Um, and at the very top is going to be a language setting and you can switch what the language is going to be. So let's switch to the system and then you can just drop down to where it says English. So regardless of which one, it should be the second option. And then you're going to save the settings. Now if you want to load in an avatar, <clears throat> what you're going to do is come over here where it says avatar selection. It's going to be like three little people. And then you're going to pick the avatar you want. And we just reselected mine. Bam. And now I'm back. Um, and to start tracking, you're going to come over here to toggle tracking on and off. And I'm going to click yes to all of these. Yeah. Okay. And so now it's tracking my face movement. Um, this particular program allows you to have avatar movements. So, like, uh, literally will, like, pose and do stuff. And, like, if you want to move the character, you can right-click the mouse, and then if you click this one, you can rotate. Well, we don't need to see that. Whoa. Ha ha ha! Meow. Can you, can you just stand up like a normal fucking person? Thank you. <laughs> um, yeah, so... Um, this one will rotate over here, and then the... I don't know... Arrow one will allow you to move it around, and then scroll wheel will zoom in and out. Alright, so <clears throat> we're gonna just stick with that for now. Uh, you're gonna come over here... Uh, down to the set background and I'm gonna do a custom color and I'm gonna do the uh, green for mine. You can do blue for yours if you have green on your person or custom color but um, I'm gonna do green. And we're gonna just bloop, close that out. Uh, so at this point for the for the most part we got things set up to be prepared to record. You know you can zoom in on your on your model we're gonna we're gonna move it to where we're just seeing mostly the face. There we go. Um, you can go over to like uh, avatar adjustments and sort of adjust like how uh, the strength of the movement's going to be in what you're doing. Um, and for my settings, I have it as uh, voice tracking on this because I don't really like how it tracks without it. Like it's so it's audio recording instead of face recognition. Because face recognition sometimes loses tracking unless I'm pointing my face directly at the web camera, in which case I cannot pay attention to what's going on on screen. So, this just works fine for me. Uh, and then it has a delay if you need a delay. Uh, a delay. Um, and if you have a leap motion, you can add leap motion. I don't, I'm, not, I'm not hooking mine up right now. We're not, we're not worrying about that. Um, yeah, and we'll close out. Ba Oh yeah, we'll save those settings. We'll, we'll, we'll save this. It's the same settings, but we'll save those settings. Um, let's see. Oh, we can do the ex uh, facial expressions, uh, which is the first one over here. And this allows you to just, uh, you know, select your expressions. Uh, there, you can open up the shortcuts, and you can add, uh, like, shortcuts to each expression if you would like. Um, like I have, let's see, extra is this one. Yeah. Um, I do know that sometimes I have issues with it tracking some of the um, custom expressions. Like for right now, it's not showing like my hat, and I'm not sure if. I don't know, it's just a glitch or what's going on. Uh, I don't use this program enough. Uh, they also have like um, an effects menu which you can open shortcuts for, so... Um, 
death. Bam, 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 bam. Okay, yeah. I'm sorry. I'm just dinking around here. Um, <clears throat> oh, uh, the one other thing in the settings is. Let's see where is it. Um, auto hide uh, the menu bar. I recommend that one. Uh, that way the bar hides when you're not in use, so that way it's easier to kind of green screen use this, you know, thing. And I do find the tracking is a little funky in this. I don't know. Ah, <sighs> uh, and you can also do full screen mode, window mode, you know, what have you. I feel a lot of this is just kind of messing around and doing what you think would uh, work best for you. Um, and that would be pretty much it. Uh, yeah, that's fine. We'll save this. We'll get rid of this. And you can just like mouse over to the sides to see what's going on. And if you were going to use this in um, like Streamlabs, what you would do is, all right, I know, I know we're gonna see see this. Don't even worry about it. It's fine. It's because inception. Uh, you're going to do a new window. Let's do new. You can name it whatever you want. And uh, I'm going to do meet tonight. Oh, um, Windows graphic there. Oh, and also, uh, I don't want to capture the cursor on this. Yeah. All right, so now we have me. <laughs> and uh, if you right-click, it can do like filters, and then you can go over here, here, and you can do chroma key, and it will chroma key. Me out, and you can adjust as need be. Uh, and you just move it over in the corner, and there you go. Uh, I hope this has kind of helped you out. It's kind of a scuff little like how to, but look, look, I don't use this. There's better free programs out there, but if you want to know how to use this, this is how you would use it. So, anyways, if you have any questions, you can ask me down below, and I'll do my best to answer them. If you like this video or it's helped you out, please give it a like and share and all that other jazz and if you like um my content and want to see more then please subscribe and i'll see you in my next scuffed up video all right bye